Hi folks, Wade Rush, Rush Lane Poultry and Game Birds here in Central South Carolina. Uh, a lot of folks have contacted me and wanted me to kind of run through how I did our dorm room refrigerator here that I've kind of set up like a uh, uh, like a sportsman. Um, what I did is we took the uh, GQF wafer thermostat out of this and I digitized it. We put in a digital controller which requires, it's a digital controller and requires a solid state relay. You can see it back here in the back. Okay, they, one's not gonna work without the other. You need both. This, this little unit is very low powered right here. All it does is it monitors temperature. It's got a temperature probe that comes out of the back. Temperature probe right here. You see, which on this little unit here, I don't know if you can read it with the camera, but it says temp probe right here and it was already hooked in whenever we got it. It actually says power supply. This one is a 110 volt here in the US. It's pretty much standard 110 volt. There's your power supply on three and four. And I used telephone wire to, uh, for our power supply. Loading, that is your activation relay. This is the activation circuit that activates the big relay right here. This little relay inside the unit activates the big um, uh, solid state relay here in the back. Okay, in a little more detail with this, see the temperature probe right here? We got the temperature probe mounted right here about center in the back, right here. You see the empty hole right there? I had a GQF uh, Sportsman wafer thermostat mounted in here. We took it out when we digitized it. Okay, now you can see on this unit right here, the way we put this together, these are two. GQF Hubabator 25 watt, 20 watt, I'm sorry, elements. Uh, one in the bottom, one in the top. They're kind of slow to heat and uh, they don't get really hot. As a matter of fact, you'd really have to hold your hand on them to get them to burn you. And this little old box right here, it was, uh, it was a kind of a, a test and see if it would work type setup. I wanted to keep it low voltage. This thing only pulls 40 watts. That's all it pulls. And this is the incubator. We can get four GQF turners, uh, or four little giant, whatever of the 42 egg turners that you can get your hands on. We've got it set up in here to where we can mount four of these turners in here. These two elements right here, instead of, instead of going through all the build on all this stuff, the power supply comes in. These two units are literally wired together, top and bottom. Just like if it was one unit, there's just one wire running between the two and the interrupt, of course, where the thermostat goes in, interrupts, and activates both units. You see we got us a 12-volt fan on the bottom, and they spin backwards. They push the air down and around the box. This pushes the air up and around. We set our humidity tray right here. But what everybody is interested in, the way if you were going to digitize your incubator and go with a unit like this, whenever you remove your thermostat, these two wires right here, the big side of the relay. The relay is kind of mounted in upside down. You see, you see this is 32 volt. It goes from three to 32 volt DC is all it takes to turn this relay on. Three volts DC up to 32 volts DC will turn this relay on. This side of the relay, this is the work side of the relay. This is where we took the two wires off of the GQF thermostat that was sitting in here. We just took the wires off and they go to this side of your uh, solid state relay. Just that simple. Nothing complicated about it. These two wires, one of, one of this wire, one side of this wire runs out to your little unit right here. One side, the other side runs to your, we've got to move around here. 12 volt power supply. This is, that is the inverter. This is a big, this is a big inverter here guys. That's why I got it on this unit. This is one of these home medic inverters. This is a monster. It's a, uh, it's an output, uh, it is 120 volt input and it is 12 volt DC output. But this thing feels like it weighs five pounds. It's, uh, they use them in hospitals and stuff like that. So they're really reliable. And that's what it takes to activate your solid state relay. You've got to have three volts to 32 volts DC. I'm using 12. 12, I'm pulling it right off of this unit that drives my fans. That unit also drives these fans. So whenever I plug this thing up, 
everything is powered up. Here we're gonna get right back to this right here. This is as complicated as this is. Temperature probe right here, and I mounted the center of the box. Your power supply, or it will say power input, or whatever, uh, whatever your unit says. 110 volt or 240 volt if you're a Europe power. Um, I'm not sure, it's, it's different in different, several different places around the world. And then your, on the diagram, you see that this is your activation relay. This is what you've got to put in to activate your solid state relay. This is what you have to hook to, to go to your solid state relay. All right, folks, I'm going to be right back in just a minute with a little bit more detail. See you in just a second. Hi, guys. Uh, Wade Rush, Rush Lane Poultry. We're back again. Here's what I did. I set up a whole wiring scenario right here in the kitchen on the island uh, to kind of let you know step by step how to wire in this digital thermostat with a solid state relay to your heating element. Principle is the same no matter whether you're using a 20 watt element right like this right here out of a GQF, whether you're using light bulbs, whether you're using uh, a 200 watt Necrom uh, coil out of a Sportsman, uh, if you're using an element out of an oven uh, as, a, as a heating element or out of a, um, I've actually used the element, the drying element out of a dishwasher and they work really good. Uh, but here's, here's the scenario. Digital control, digital controller. What it does is it measures, all this unit does is it measures temperature via its little external probe right here that you'll set center in your uh, incubator. It measures about two or three times a second. It will display the temperature. And what it does is, is it's got a little teeny five amp internal relay that is enough to activate a solid state relay. Okay guys, here's your wiring scenario. Uh, this will work whether it's this little uh, Chinese model here or if it's a Johnson Controls, if it's a Ranco controller, the, the principle is the same. No matter, no matter how it's set up, the principle is the same. Okay, here is the plug. Plugs into the wall. This, this is the power supply for everything sitting here on the table. Plugs into the wall. Power supply. It's plugged into the wall. Here is your two sides of your power supply. I've taken phone wire, both sides, one wire to one side, blue wire one side, white wire to the other side, and right here onto your power supply in, right here, you can see what it's all upside down here. Let's see if I can turn it up here for you. Okay. Power supply in, one wire to one side, you see a little tight, the little nuts, they may be kind of hard to see, but they uh, may get a little light on, there we go. One wire in one side, one in the other, and it doesn't matter. You can't get them backwards. Uh, I've tried it both ways, and it powers it up, so it doesn't matter. Power in, then this other side, well, you see right here, the loading. Some of them say loading. Some of them uh, have uh, what looks like two relays, but it sees it shows an opening close, closing circuit, indication for a relay. What this is, this is the path that it's going to that your 12 volt power supply. You got to have one of these for your solid state relay. You also got to have it to run your computer fans if you be running DC like I do, and so I use it for all of it. But you're going to need this DC power supply to activate your solid state relay. All right, same principle applies hooking in your relay as it does hooking in your thermostat. Right here, one side, one side of your 12 volt power supply runs directly, directly to the activation relay, one side of the activation on your digital thermostat. The other side runs out, goes to one side of your activation side, your solid state relay right here on this side, it says control side, which is three volt to 32 volt DC. That is the side that comes from your controller right here, low, very low voltage, low DC voltage. This this is your output side. This handles up to 25 amps on this side. Big, big beast right here. It'll handle a lot of current. This is what drives your element, no matter what your element is. The, so you've got one side of your 12 volt power supply coming directly to your loading side right here. And what I've done is I've interrupted, I take the, uh, 
the uh, the side I interrupted was the um, the positive side. This thing has got a white stripe on one side and solid black on the other. The uh, yeah, it was the positive side. There's your white stripe. It was the positive side that I interrupted. The negative side of this runs directly to the negative side of your relay here. Okay, it shows positive and negative. Then you run the other side through your digital control here over to the other side of your relay. So basically what this is doing is this is controlling this, this is controlling this, turning this on. Okay? Now, if I've done everything right here, then this unit should power up whenever I plug it up. Now same with your heating element right here. There might be to go over this. See one side of your heating element. All right, let's start with this side, red wire. One side of your power, this is the one that plugs into the wall. Power supply that plugs into the wall right here. Your heating element, one side of your heating element directly to one side of that power supply. We're interrupting the other side. So the other side of the power supply comes over to one side of your solid state relay. Take the other side, route it, but right there to the other side of your heating element. Now, if everything is wired up right here, when we plug this up, all of this should come on and run. It says it's working. So your solid state relay, light is on. I've set this unit, it's set on 100 degrees. So the work light is on, which means that this relay has turned on. It says the internal room temperature is 74. It tells you that it is activated the solid state relay. It is activated and our little 20 watt element right here is getting hot. It's heating up. That is how you wire in a digital thermostat using a solid state relay to power your element no matter what it is. Folks, did the best I could with that. I hope that helps you out. Wade Rush, Rush Lane Poultry. Talk to you again soon, folks. Bye-bye.